It's almost been an annual Christmas time tradition in recent years for some publication or other to run with a Jesus Never Existed story, since it's basically the ultimate clickbait. The truth, that scholars are and continue to be certain that Jesus existed beyond any reasonable doubt, just doesn't get clicks and shares. To support the thesis that Jesus didn't exist, however, publications usually trot out some self-published conspiracy theory hack. The Washington Post did this a few years ago. Well, folks, I have some good news. We seem to have made it through this Christmas season with no major publications running a Jesus mythicist story, with one qualified exception. London's Daily Express, who have been known to publish outrageously stupid atheist propaganda in the past. So let's have a look at this. Jesus did exist, and this is the real story. Jesus Christ did exist, new evidence shows, but his real role is still under much debate. Okay, so they're going to grant us that Jesus existed, but obviously our understanding is flawed in some other ways, and this tabloid magazine is going to set us straight. The figure is either one regarding the most famous man who has ever lived, or one of the best works of fiction ever created. Holy hell, that's an awkward lead line. Some 2,000 years later, experts are still unsure whether Jesus Christ was a real man whose myth exceeded the real thing, or whether he was a fabrication a story designed to either make people more peaceful or simply to control the masses. Okay, experts don't think that. Little shit lords and Atheist Republic think that. Also, uh, note the uh, false dilemma here. Either Jesus Christ was a man whose myth exceeded the real thing, or he was just made up whole cloth. Uh, there's no third option here. Also, uh, uh, don't split your infinitive, sweetie. However, there is evidence Jesus... The supposed Son of God was a real man who lived, you don't say, but how did he become interpreted as a divine being? Most scholars, both Christian and non-Christian, agree that Jesus of Nazareth did once walk the earth, but was not sent by a higher power. Uh, I'm going to need a citation on that. Uh, please show me a source saying that most Christian scholars say that Jesus was not sent by a higher power. Instead, they have pieced together a more logical story of Jesus' life using science. Okay, this is an example of what I call catnip for stupid people, since stupid people are the only ones who would be impressed by someone merely using the words logic and science. This person obviously doesn't even know what logic is. There's nothing illogical about the belief that Jesus was sent by a higher power, unless you could somehow show that it proceeds as an invalid inference from some other premises. Also, science cannot piece together a logical picture. Only logic can do that. Also, and I don't think this is going to come as a shock to anyone, this entire article does not contain a single stitch of science. Seriously, there's no science in this entire article. The link is in the description if you need to see this for yourself. I suspect that the author thinks something is logical if it doesn't push beyond the laziest, the most mundane assumptions possible, which is very common for stupid people to do. Also, I suspect he thinks something is scientific if it presupposes naturalism, which again is very common for stupid people. But hey, it's pushing the buttons of atheists. Atheists have an almost Pavlovian reaction to the words science and logic. Now further in the article, we get the opinion of Marcus Borg, who represents the liberal Jesus seminar view that Jesus was a historical, non-supernatural figure. But since this is top-notch journalism, we get both sides of the story. The liberal Jesus seminar view, and the batshit conspiracy theory Jesus mythicist view. The latter comes to us courtesy of Vanity Press charlatan Joseph Atwell, who contends that the Romans invented a legend of Jesus to pacify the Jews, and subsequently spent four centuries persecuting adherents of the religion they created. Joseph Atwell believes this because he's a complete imbecile, but hey, his thesis is convenient for the atheist agenda, so you could trust various media outlets to trumpet his pseudo-scholarship. So yes, the Daily Express is responsible for another disgraceful, intelligence-insulting piece of atheist propaganda. As it happens, this article comes on the heels of a YouGov opinion poll indicating a 5% increase in atheism in the British public over the course of two years. If in fact there has been such a dramatic shift towards atheism in the British public, it's because they have been aggressively propagandized into atheism. We must not allow the same thing to happen stateside. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.